So in this video, I'm going to talk about micro segmentation with the Narista L2 switch. And micro segmentation concept is essentially that you want isolation between the same subnets. Macro segmentation is between different subnets and micro segmentation is between same subnets. So that's the critical part that we need to make sure that we understand. Same is micro segmentation and different is macro. Now with that out of the way, this is the setup that I have and they are sitting on the same subnet. 1011 the OS1, 10112, 10113/24. 10, so same subnet for all three VOS. And my Arista switch is a layer two switch by default. So port E1, E2, and E3. I'm gonna configure this port with VLAN 10, this E2 with VLAN 20 and E3 with VLAN 100, which is going to be your primary. So what does that mean is that we're going to create, first we're going to create VLAN 100 and put all of these guys in 100. All right, that would enable all of them to talk to each other. So all of them will be able to talk to each other while sitting on VLAN 100. Now, the objective is that I want to isolate or do micro segmentation on the same subnet. How do I do it? Because I don't have a firewall or it's too complicated, stuff like that, redesign, re-implement. So the way to do it on an Arista switch is use private VLAN feature. And in the private VLAN configuration, you would have a primary that can talk to the isolated or community, right? So our first scenario is we would put this guy in VLAN 100, they talk to each other, then we isolate them with VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So now VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 cannot talk to each other. We can also do VLAN 10 and 10 but keep them in isolation and they can still do not, cannot talk. We can put them VLAN 10 and 10 in community and they can talk. So let's do that. Let's configure that. But configuring the primary VLAN means this guy can talk to him and him and they can talk to him, but they cannot talk to each other again. We're trying to isolate. So first isolation case, first case we configure, same VLAN, make them talk to each other, other than isolate VOS1 and VOS2 and keep this guy as the primary so that he can talk to both. And then we put VLAN 10 and 10 in a community mode so that we have, can make VLAN VOS1 and VOS2 talk to each other as well. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. I've got my switch here. Which is up and running and I've got VOS one and two and three. So I'm gonna configure first, let's configure the IP addresses. And the third one.
All right. So now we got field commit. We got these three configured as per our diagram. Again, these are all segment N1, N2, N3 on the VMware player. So this guy has its Ethernet zero on N1 and therefore the switch Ethernet one is also on N1. First one is management. So adapter two is N1. Ethernet one is mapped to adapter two. And one and so on and so forth. Okay. So now I would, by default, they would talk to each other because the default VLAN is VLAN one on all ports. All right, so they're talking to each other. That's our VLAN 1 by default. So we're going to reconfigure this VLAN 100 and then put it on E1. E2. And E3. So now we, they should talk to each other on the VLAN 100 instead of the native VLAN, default VLAN. Takes a minute. There you go. Show Mac this table and you have all the three BIOSes on the three ports okay so we got the first scenario going with all of them talking on VLAN 100 all right now we will configure VLAN 10 and this can be 20 as well or 10. Actually, we should make this one as 10. VLAN 10 and 10 isolated or community and VLAN 100 as primary. So now let's go and configure the switch for micro segmentation with same subnet. So we want to isolate V1 and V2 so that they cannot talk to each other. Right now they can. I think everybody can talk to everybody right now. Right? So now <clears throat> let's isolate these two. To do that, we would go into VLAN and create VLAN 10 and we say private VLAN <clears throat> isolate and our primary VLAN is 100. So primary VLAN, which is sitting, three sitting on primary VLAN 100, it can talk to both anytime and they can talk to him anytime, but between the two, we're gonna isolate. So that's what it's doing VLAN 10. So I'm skipping 20 here. Both of them are 10 and 10. Now, putting the ports, previously they were on 100. Let's show around the interface E1. 100, 100, 100. So now I'm gonna isolate. And once you isolate, two and one will not be able to talk to each other. Interface E1, switch port access VLAN 10. Interface E2, so isolated. They're not part of the community. The other option was community. I'll show you that too. Switch port access VLAN 10. 
Both are part of VLAN 10, but they cannot talk to each other anymore. And that's your micro segmentation right there. But our primary VLAN was 100, and he can talk to both of them. Okay? And they can talk to him as well. So that's your micro segmentation between the same VLANs and one VLAN as primary who can talk to both of these. Now there's another option with this micro segmentation. VLAN 10, private VLAN. And you say we used isolated. We can also use community. So in that case, all the VLANs in 10, ports in 10, private VLANs in port, private VLANs in VLAN 10 would be able to talk to each other. So right now, one and two cannot talk because they're isolated. Once I put them in community, let me show you the config right now, they are isolated. So let's change that. Private VLAN is uh, community, primary VLAN. Make sure that this guy is talking to everybody. Primary VLAN is 100. So when you change that isolated to community, VLAN 1 and 2, VS 1 and 2 are now talking to each other because they're part of the community. So that is basically how you do micro segmentation using an Arista switch and this is the simple deployment of how you can isolate the same subnet on on different ports and have one port talk to each the others while they're isolated as well hope this helps